Good morning, guys. Welcome to FYI. Welcome. I, I am Charette Fernandez alongside Sharon Duncan this morning. It is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022, and we are so happy to be with you this morning. Yep. Uh, it has been a great morning for us uh, thus far. A little hiccups here and there, technical hiccups. A good but, cup of tea. But we're good. No we're, hiccups there. We're ready to go. Shared is having some Milo, Milo tea. Milo tea, folks. Milo tea. <laughs> so that's a debate all by itself, yeah, yeah. as you know. But um, Perfect cup. It, it, uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. I'm just having some um, green tea. That's it. Mm, bush. I, I, I'm good. I'm bush. good to go. Taste tight. <laughs> so, bush I see um, GT rule. Girls are much better. Hey, good morning to you. Um, good morning to you. Is it um, Kylotech? That is the name. Mm. I think the name was given to us yesterday. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. My apologies. Put that in put that your screen. <laughs> so, good morning to you. Donna McDonald, hey Donna. I see Morris um, Alvina is online this morning. A lot morning. of great people. Colleen, um, Sarah Andrews is with us this morning. I see, uh, is it Beautiful Renric people. Ram? Yes, Renric Ram is single. Good, good morning to see to you, the Renric. FYI family. And the FYI family is always happy to be with you every single morning. We thank you for coming on. And you know the protocol. When you come on, make sure that the first thing you do is share the live stream. Make sure that everyone say, else... Don't say good morning. Don't <laughs> brush your teeth. Leave don't, your do, teeth. <laughs> don't do anything else. Just share, share, share the live stream. And if you have never partnered with us before, make sure that you come on board to partner with us this morning and so that we can continue what we're doing and make sure that it has longevity in this process yeah, altogether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm certain that folks can find a way to partner with us. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm certain uh, to help us to keep doing these programs that we do, whether it's <laughs> FYI, it's Below yes. the Belt, it's In the Ring, it's, uh, it's building content for our website, it's building out mm. all of these programs to make them better for you guys, because we know how much you, you uh, relish the information, how much you relish the infotainment. We are, uh, and we, you know, we have such a passion uh, giving you guys the information, uh, but it costs us something to do it. And so we're going to be very excited that you guys are going to come on board and partner with us. Yeah, and for new folks that have been coming on board to partner, you know, we say thank you very much to those yeah. persons. Yeah. Um, much appreciated and it goes every every cent goes a long way yeah especially yeah. right now with the cost of living you know, in this country people always got the impression that we only call the folks the names of the folks who partner with us we call all names why don't you make a comment and we see yes. the names come up on the monitor i didn't we know that i didn't out. know that persons had that impression yes, that we only call names of persons who partner with us but we, uh, we call the names of people who we see on the screen in front of us because you make a comment and then it, it pops up here so we see clifton smith and we yes. see robert pops um, Let's sell Frick. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Brian Nelson and Ingrid Crawford. Paulette Graves as well. We see all of you guys and we hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic morning. Paulette says she's joining us from Maryland. Well, I'm going to take a sip of my Milo tea for that. <laughs> so, Sherrod always, there's a debate whether or not Milo's Milo tea is tea. Sherrod had Milo tea. He doesn't mm -hmm. care. Warren is online this yeah. morning. Warren, so good morning. No good doubt. Morning to you. No doubt Warren is here joining us from I, Long Island. Perhaps. I think it is Long Island, but we never know with Warren. We, we just never, never know. know. We just <laughs> never know. He is a Prince George. Good to see you. Good to see you. Jean Noble, good to see you. Devine Smith and Shivani Ford. Good to see you. Shivani is spot boy. Good to see you. Congratulations. Oh, Shivani got, got married. Yeah, she got yeah, Oh, yeah, but I hear the business coming out. Gene Noble. So congratulations to you. Roger Norris is here as well. <laughs> hey, Roger. Good morning. You know, good family. You know, the FIF family yeah, is yeah, up yeah, and yeah. about. Yeah. And growing, you know, growing. Grow. Imagine feeding this family on a daily basis. I'm telling the you. The hundreds. Yeah, it's a big, big family. <laughs> Y'all look forward to for Christmas, though. So, the, you know, FI, what are the most. Um, one of the things I admire the most is like when I go back through the comment section, I see all the all the little advice that you get mm -hmm. on how to do this, how to tweet mm -hmm. this. You know, very very um useful information at times, and we yep. appreciate the feedback at George, all times. George Bradley is joining us from Aberdeen in Maryland. Aberdeen in Maryland. So you and see what's going on there. We see Warren in the comments saying, um, yeah. "Good morning to my brother, um, Dexter Bradley." Dexter, Dexter, Dexter. Yes. So just in case you see Dexter, yeah. Warren is saying good morning. <laughs> Let me help you out. That's the catch up in the comment section. Let me help you out. Talk about. Right. Maureen Coppin Williams, good to see you. Maureen, yes, you're a part good of the family. Good to see you. Anne <laughs> Kearns and Claire Alexis Chamley Richmond. That's five names of color right there. Uh, so, Africa yeah. Charles says, but just calling our names make our day damn good. So, thank you, FBs. Thank you, Africa Charles. Africa Charles. Africa Charles. Africa Charles. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not all Thank you as well. <laughs> Keith Zawa, let us hear with us this morning also. Good morning to you, Keith. Yeah. Um, George says respect and manners. You know, respect and manners, that George. shares language all day. Respect and manners. We feel you. Okay. Right? So, oh, um, Mika Primo. Oh, Mika. Got to see you, Mika. All the other folks. Is it Primo or Prime? I don't know. Primo. Primo. I, I see Primo. I Primo. Know. What is it? Right. <laughs> and Cassie so Ruth. Fun. And Cassie Ruth. Good to see you there. Very troublesome little bee. Oh, you know that? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. That. Know that. all them bad them children. <laughs> I, I know all of them. <laughs> the Joy Phillips is in joining from Caribbean. So good morning to you. Make sure that the folks joining from Caribbean get a good share of the live feed. So oh, John, yes. You have a responsibility on your own there to share so that the folks yes. here in Caribbean yes. would actually be able to share share what's going on. Share. Share. So, oh my gosh. So, um, it's Thomas. Give me that first name. Uh, where are we? Yolandi so and names. Thomas. Yolandi. Mm -hmm. Jaretta, you get my share, not calling my name. Yolandia. My, my apology. Yolandia. 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 <laughs> Go forward to be great today, Yolandia. Go forward to be great. Blessed. Mm, and sing. Good to see you. Valme Wilson. Good to see you. <laughs> Erwin Don Cook, good to see you. Erwin Don Cook, Erwin Don Cook, Erwin Don Cook. Honestly, I get so jealous when I don't hear my name. <laughs> we can spend the next hour just calling names. Mary Lou, good to see you. Bibi so, Ali. I see um, the Cassie Ruth is in Jaretta's with Johnson. You know, I'm a good girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> who Sharon, no no Sharon is not um actually who no no Sharon is not going to run with that who no no Sharon knows something mm -hmm. else about Ruth that we I got the book <laughs> I've read it yeah the book I of got the book mm -mm. the book of Ruth <laughs> oh my god yeah I know the Ruth I know is, is a good Ruth okay and so I probably don't know some things Ruth we got catch you don't read the whole book why do you stick any first chapter oh my god I've read every line every sentence mm -hmm. <laughs> Keith Dowling, good to see you. Marilyn King. Yep. Laverne, Harry Tran, Kelman, Bassett. Long names. These guys. <laughs> when did they learn to spell that mm, in school? <laughs> 19 years of age. You now learning. Now finish up. <laughs> Joylin Cook. Again, uh, Rosie, Rose, Jeff, and Sandra. Is, is it Sandra? The name gone by someone. Sandra Batiste, or Baptist. Good to see you. <laughs> Mark you Allman. Batiste? Batiste, Baptist. <laughs> Ingrid Lancaster, McCalmont, and Colin Skip Price, did I call her right? Marlon, I will not let Sharon spoil me. Yeah, I, I yeah. can assure you, it doesn't where, rub off. Where is Marlon? <laughs> she went by. Right. Adona, Adona McCollin, good to see you. Ruth say Hell Tech One, that's for you, Sharon. <laughs> Brenda Terrali, good to see you, Brenda. I find you drink a lot of this morning, I don't know why. Drinking your tea, finish your own business. Mary Luke. I don't usually write. Seymour George, Sherlanda Beresford, and uh george seymour all you fantastic lovely folks the guys are saying to share share the live stream and smash that emoji button guys yep you know um, i just read one of the comments that said um asking what's going on at the demerar bridge that the traffic build up there is actually so terrible and and yes anybody that actually travels um on the east bank would know that it is it, crazy it's most yeah. ridiculous at do all we have times. the bridge report do we have this morning yes now is yet <laughs> so, uh -huh. as as we're talking about while you're waiting traffic might as well we, we, we go through some news yes most definitely but when it comes to the bridge i wanted to i wanted to say that um you have been following on road works and and how those things have been going along a whole lot and one of the things that you have been mentioning <laughs> is that whenever there's a deadline it keeps pushing, pushing further back. and further so if that's back. any indication to when that um that that other road will be um able to be accessed and used by persons we we won't be able to say but you know i have this sneaky suspicion we'll sneaky end up back at the, at the same problem of it's just bottleneck. A, a bottleneck more cars on yes. the road you know because we are we, we seem very excited to know that we are running through these car series very quickly well that's what happens you know first we talk about the car season run through, but then when the, one of the first things that um the, the administration did when they came into office was to go back to the system that they had before so persons are importing vehicle that are that are that are very old vehicles that are coming in and that's why you see a lot of uh mishaps sometimes on the roadway with those cars so yeah yeah yep, don't yep. get too excited when you see gotta watch that but we, we, we feel your pain those of you who suck in traffic we feel your pain but I think we got a couple of things on the front pages of the newspapers, in the morning papers that might interest you, that might tickle your fancy. 
Tickle your fancy. Tickle your fancy. <laughs> the only shirt. Said, this is how you know his age. Don't mm, worry. It's showing, eh? It's showing, it's showing. A couple of things. Good to see Arnold Phillips is joining us. We're, I wonder where Anna is joining us from. And Faye Evelyn Wilson is here as well, Jurita. Jurita takes another sip of her tea. Uh, she smiles. <laughs> Lennox Anderson. <laughs> Marvin, is it is it Ock? Well, kind of fancy name. I, it's not so. That's a, not, a -O -K that's not English. It's not English. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn says, Mingo Byrne and all the other fantastic, lovely folks. Marino Williams, good morning to you guys as well. Those of you who are now waking up, now getting up, now you know stirring. Yep. Now Most stirring. Definitely. Good morning to each and every one of you. You know, Respect today, today of all of this, I'm going, I, I'm going to tell you guys from the beginning that you're going to want to share the live stream today because we're covering, we have some um, very interesting um, footage that we're going to bring into, be bringing, bringing to you later on in the program. So just make sure that you are here to get that bit of Yeah, make sure they're both. Make sure of that, uh, Marlene King and Latoya Patterson and all of those persons out there. Make sure that you are... Um, here to get that information all all. To share it right all <laughs> all. but um mm -hmm. when it comes to the morning papers let me just say a lot of the times we try to bring in all the news but it's impossible to bring in all the news so i know we've been getting some little um comments back and forth that we don't mention a lot of the stuff on the front but we can't Wait, we can't we can't it's well, impossible but back to the morning as we go into the morning papers um as we go through the headlines that are here with us uh, this morning, we see former Region 5 um, REO wanted by the PSD, the committee. Wanted. Six answers for um, financial irregularities. And again, I can uh, I can comment on this directly because as a member of the Public Accounts Committee, you know, yesterday, it was from one thing to the next because one thing that was evident is that the current REO for the region was grossly um, ill-prepared to come to the PSC to answer questions. And a lot of times, persons believe that they can go and say that. Uh, Sounds like me to me. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> well, that was, a, that was a, another example because she was grossly ill-prepared to answer those questions as well. And a lot of times, persons believe they can come and say, oh, they weren't here before, so they're not answering the questions. But I brought the point up yesterday that that is not an excuse because whilst we're examining the reports right now of 2017 and 2018, within those within those paragraphs, you will see prior year issues that goes to 2010, 2012. And we can't say mm -hmm. that, oh, you can't answer it because you weren't there. That's that's not an excuse that yeah. is acceptable. But guys, if you've been following the PAC, you would realize that there's a lot of things that come. Like at one point in time, when the coalition went into office, the... the, the um, PS that was met at the Ministry of Public Infrastructure and the Ministry of Public Works now, that PS that, that was met there, when he was asked to come before the PSC to answer questions for 2016, because he was, uh, I think he was removed in 2017, he came and literally joined online and sent a letter in advance saying that he, he's old and his memory is fading. So every question that was asked to him, then he was like, I can't recall. I won't yeah, have the knowledge, right? So that was the precedence that 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 they set, and they had. I say that the government had absolutely no problem with his his answers. And when we were trying to drill him for answers, they actually said we were harassing him to get answers. But now, now the shoe is on the other foot. Yeah. They want to be. Um, they, they suddenly want to yeah. hear from everyone else. You know. You know, but but interesting. I think as a public officer, and not even a public officer, if you're going to be managing. Uh, even a private business and you're taking off, I think the owners is on you um, to go back at least two or mm. three years to see how that business has been performing, what has been the issues, yeah. what has been the problem. You have to know your job and know thoroughly. Yes, but most definitely because one of the matters yesterday, the very first question was the matter concerning GWI. And you can't tell me that you need someone there to answer that. GWI is right there. That that company is still up and running and functioning mm -hmm. you're still doing daily transactions with them well monthly transactions at the least so, so what you should do is go and get the information don't come and say that oh you weren't there that's not an excuse it's yeah. unacceptable i think as a professional as yeah. a professional you have to be prepared yeah. to defend your job description to defend what you are doing and at least to be able to uh, to have a, a conceptual framework of the last two or three years of the entity yeah. that you're managing and the portfolio that you're managing and how yeah. you know what has been happening there of at least two years prior 
Well, not at least, well, not at least two years prior. And I always make the point that at, at the level of the PSC, that when we're examining reports and so forth, one of the things that um, we need to do is fix, put, put forward a recommendation that would fix the issue. At least we come there 20 years from, from now, we're hearing persons at the PSC discussing the same issues all over again because systems were not put in place because all the issues that are being discussed right now and being brought up in these reports, I can go as far back, you know, 20, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, right through, and the same issues are repeating Kick the itself. can down the road, exactly. that's what we do. That's what we so, do. This, this tit for tat, you and you and you, I always make the point that here it was before. So what is the recommendation going forward? How do we fix it going forward? So that is on that front share. What are you looking at in, in the morning papers this morning? Uh, well, I mean, if we if we just stay locally, I see uh, one of the headlines jumping out. For instance, from Starbuck News says that government saved Marriott from takeover by uh, Republic Bank Limited after loan default. And this is former finance minister, Mr. Jordan, uh, uh, speaking with... Uh, Starbuck News on this issue because um, uh, one headline of the says yes. that, you know, remind the public what the headline said. <laughs> no, I can't remember the headline directly, but um, it, it was it, it was insinuating that under the coalition administration that, that there was a lot of financial issues yeah. with, with the Marriott. And yeah. Mr. Jordan quickly stepped in because that this comes under his por portfolio and, and, and corrected all of that uh, misinformation that I think it's a... Uh, it's, uh, designer basically to, to put steer persons down a particular pathway so now we have the headline today saying the government saved marriott from the takeover by the republic bank limited after the loan and default and this is what mr george is saying that they had to step in and do that yep 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 so those are a couple of the things that the morning papers are be following if we are to if we are to go more regionally um in trinidad quite an interesting story where there was a jailbreak recently five persons escaped and uh, the U United National Congress a senator uh, blamed the failure on one Mr. Hines. And the report says here, uh, just coming through the papers there, that United National Congress Senator Ayanti Lach, Lach Medial uh, has called on Prime Minister Keith Rowley to remove Fitzgerald Hines as Minister of National Security over this jailbreak, uh, which we said five persons would have escaped from the Golden Grove prison there in Trinidad, and that's one of the things we're following uh, in the region. Uh, another newspaper in the region, we are now looking at the Barbados Today papers, and that previous paper was the Trinidad Express. The Barbados uh, papers has, as a, one of the headlines, Barbados switching uh, to polymer banknotes later this year. And we know this all too well, like I tell you, proceed cautiously. <laughs> because poly, the, the polymer banknotes are, mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, it's, it's a synthetic Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's a little basically... heat cash, a little polymer. <laughs> Look, that, that Caribbean sun there. Uh, then that sunlight bounce off the blue out and hit you the polymer put it note. In your back pocket. Uh, mm -mm. Be in the Take sun. your time. Take your time with the polymer note. <laughs> but... Proceed cautiously. We know we tell you. We know we tell you all about proceed cautiously. We have noted in circulations a lot of persons talking about um, this note because persons were used to the ordinary bank note to paper note. That sometimes when they get wet, a lot of people would press it out. So someone tried, I think, trying to straighten the money out after it's being crumbled. How did it went for you? <laughs> that was the end of it. <laughs> so, so be careful, guys, yep. with that particular um, synthetic uh, note yep, that you're yep, looking yep, at. Yep, yep, That polymer. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Chad is not advised. No, no, no. You know, I went to one of the banking institutions recently, and the girl asked me, want to try something. I said, uh uh, don't go wrong with funny. But it, it will have its benefits also. Don't come wrong with funny. It's going to have some benefits. Let's be pragmatic yeah. about this. It's going to have heat, some benefits. I don't know. Sometimes I have to get my little water. money, my parents, and I press my. But the water, it, it so can't be destroyed by the water. Right. So. But I don't swim with money in my pockets either. So if you, put, if, you have, if you have, guys, come on. If you have the, if you have your money, like a lot of times some people would be washing clothes and something, some notes end up in their pocket and so mm. <laughs> at the end of that watch cycle it's done mm. if it's paper but with that it gives a little more chance but like i said it has benefit a little benefit but <laughs> no but, but <laughs> i don't so i don't deal in, Ill in illegal activities i don't wash money sir <laughs> what i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> washing money no, no, no. folks i'm on the up and up here right I mean, got the kind of money to deal wash together. Uh, what? I, I, I'm not getting that <laughs> but the person is saying those notes are slippery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> slip out your pocket in the wash. <laughs> that polymer business. We do mm -hmm. know we have a hundred dollar, um, a hundred dollar coin. Mm -hmm. 
That the you was that? No, 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 no. I want to see my thing big in front of me. I want to see my notes big and strong in front of me. No where the part of this. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. I think I think uh, for our notes in particular, I didn't um, there was no justifiable reason to actually bring the notes forward. <laughs> Basically, first somebody just wanted a name on a note. Yeah, somebody. Who could that be? Hmm. Somebody wanted a name hmm. on a note. Who could that? Who could that be? Right. So that's one of the things we're following in Barbados, for instance. And uh, there is uh, the um, by the end of the year, according to the report we have here, mm -hmm. Barbados will be using a new bank note made of polymer. This was announced by the Central Bank of Barbados recently. And announcing the new note, Governor Carveston Haynes uh, says that the bank remains committed to reducing uh, the use of cash by ensuring Barbadians have a range of payment options available okay. to them. Good At the them. same time, however, we recognize that cash remains popular. There are still many Barbadians for whom cash is their principal means of trust and others will continue to use it in combination with other options. And I think on this front, folks, it's not just popular, you know. Uh, I think that's a cover-up name. <laughs> George, George Allen, and um, and uh, Marcel Jolliver and Ken Kearns. I think the same way we would do for a house a house registration or continuous registration yeah. or for COVID vaccine, we got to encourage people to go cashless. Right? You can't you, just you got to encourage. You got to encourage. Well, I don't mean yes. you. You got to put some weight behind moving people yes, exactly. to that area, not just hope people can go and say, you know, could I have a bank account? Could I have a bank card? That kind of stuff. We got we, we, we to gotta push them in that direction because that to me has... You can, count, you can count on your one hand and the amount of business places that you can go into this country and yeah. actually use swipe your credit card. Yeah, and, swipe and any card. It. But that's my point. So it's like there, there's one thing to encourage persons to do it, but if you don't have the facilities and the mechanisms in place that actually facilitate that type of transaction, you're not doing anything by telling people that, oh, yeah. we're going to go there. You have the, They have to put that system yeah. in place. We have the mechanism money. to receive cash at our end. Yes. We got Cash App, <laughs> we got uh, PayPal, we got Zelle, we got MMG, we got uh, Western Union Money Grant. We ain't got no trouble, right? <laughs> um, we, can, we can come to you if you can't come to us. We ain't got no trouble, folks. You know, I, I, love, I love our viewers. You know, I, I said uh, somebody wanted to know their name on the bank notes. So um, Donna McDonald is saying it's Mrs. Sula and Lord. <laughs> 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 The tenant <laughs> to his landlord, <laughs> the name of the bank load. That being said, that being said, but no, but it's interesting, and I think I think you get more done. Mm -hmm. There's less fear of um, of people robbing you. You got your bank yeah. card or so on, and you can transact business um, almost effortlessly yeah. to be able to go online and check your bank account to see yeah. that the um, the five thousand dollars you got on the balance <laughs> here. Nobody got with it. It's very empowering. <laughs> It's very important, and I would advise more people. More people. I, I like to. It's you know, important to save five thousand dollars. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> uh, you know, to go and, and earn some more ads. Um, to be able to um, move money, for instance, using um, MMG, right? And yes. You see, GTT. We're making a plug for y'all, and y'all won't one day come and say, oh, "Folks, you know, we can advertise with y'all because mm -hmm. look, y'all always calling me service." Right. I think more people are familiar with MMG because they watch our program. I think so. Than any time before. But GTT don't even have the what do you call it? The courtesy. Yes. Right? They say, you know what? Let me see how I can partner with these guys here. The common You're, decency. The common decency <laughs> in these tough times. That being said, folks, this is what's happening in Barbados. And we'd encourage more folks, you know. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why we have been saying to go out there and get registered because yes. you get an ID card. Everybody deserves to have an ID card, mm -hmm. a passport. You don't got to be planning to go somewhere. You, know, you never know what comes up, right? You got to make a quick trip some, someplace, yep. get a passport, get a bank account, right? As simple as that. You know, you got to get some, some big money. Like me, you got a $5,000. You start your account and you watch that. You hold it there. You hold it there and you start your, your, your bill from there. A bank account. Those kinds of basic things. The economist to me is going to say, go out and invest. $5,000 save is still $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> So, right, you, you invest the best, that, but the, the, the bank is the whole in place, <laughs> right? The whole in place till they make up your mind, yeah, right? Well, Not on your mattress, so you're buried in your backyard. <laughs> you just start there. So, some, some basic things. Yes, most definitely. But guys, you want to push to the international front is what is going on there right now. You know, the first bit of uh, news we want to be bringing to you this morning. We on the trend? 
We are on the trend. We're on the trend now, folks. We're on we the are move. On the trend we're on the move, people. Yes. Gary Allen and Sandra Roberts and Brotherson. We're on the move. <laughs> and Roberts, Gordon Smith. Our, our guys in the back all see some hand movement. Share. <laughs> Share. <laughs> Ingrid Lancaster McCalmon. We see you there, Ingrid. Shout out to Gordon Smith and Charles Humphrey. Amabel Clement and all you other beautiful folks. <laughs> uh, this is what I, I'm, I'm going to ask Cheryl to actually um, get into the start of this morning trend. It says the, the headline as we're looking at this morning says a British royal couple starts um, Caribbean tour dodged by Protestant Belize. Yep, the Belizeans aren't playing. <laughs> They're not having it. The Belizeans, they aren't playing. <laughs> right? They aren't playing. Look at technology thing we know. <laughs> then people can say, look, you see why we get the bank? Yeah, watch, watch. Technology is waiting. <laughs> Are we there yet? Holding. <laughs> We're in a holding pattern. Right? So the, 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 um, the, where they wanted to have uh, one of these meetings, yeah. the indigenous people there mm -hmm. were saying they weren't consulted. So don't come wrong with funny. Right? They said, don't come wrong with funny. We weren't consulted about this visit. And we into Keen and seeing people, they're like me, you know. Oh, my goodness. Right? They're like me. See when, you see when I'm home, don't, I don't want to see nobody. I do hear from nobody. Just like a peace and quiet. The people home, right? And they think because this royal, we can be excited. People say, no, no, we are. Right. <laughs> yeah, because a we lot of times, right. persons, um, it's not all about the photo op. It's yeah. Like, what are you, what is yes. the purpose altogether? And that's what people don't want. The whole set people coming yes. on the sacred lands and walking through the old Dutch issue and so on. And bring your all SARS and COVID with y'all. They said, no, no, we are all right. We are all right. They call me via Zoom. <laughs> but on a, on, on, a, on a happier note, mm -hmm. on a happier note, um, we are learning uh, today that um, Finland is the world's happiest country once again. But look, why, look, look, see why I tell you, you need a passport? <laughs> you see why I say you need a passport? Finland is the happiest country on earth. Finland is the world's happiest oh, yeah. country. And all, and all we want to go to the you States, know you know. You know that photo look inviting, Sharon. All Dubai. we want to go to Canada. I want to put that beach chair that the woman put on just relaxing by some plaza or something like, like, like that. All, all we want to go to Canada, right? We want to go to the Big Apple. Send me Finland. Well, it says... Right? <laughs> Share the live stream if you want to go to Finland. I want to go to Finland. The world's happiest country. So actually... Right? As, as but hold on, let me ask you other question. Yeah, so uh, let me ask you. Yeah. Let me ask you other question. I'll answer. I'll, where I'll is answer. Guyana in the happiness index? Where is a Guyana? <laughs> let me tell you this. Everybody say, what is a Guyana? <laughs> <laughs> where is Guyana in the happiness index? Folks, Drum roll. Uh, folks, so this report, our uh, world's happiness report, it actually ranks 150 countries. Uh, Guyana didn't make that ranking. What? <laughs> so, Things to take? <laughs> yeah. We didn't make that ranking. <laughs> Better luck next time. Better luck next time. But interesting. So we aren't happy. I want to be. I, the huh? is interesting. They don't come to we We give us a point zero 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 one. Mm, they come to we. But one. listen to this. Mm -hmm. The uh, Brazil, our neighbor Brazil, ranked at number thirty-eight. Wow. And guess which other of our neighbors ranked? Trina. <laughs> <laughs> Barbados. Belize. So, you know, within the 150 um, countries ranking, uh, Venezuela was at 108. Wow, Venezuela? I don't think they're they happy with Maduro. <laughs> <laughs> they were at 108 when it comes to rank. But it's at the Nordic, the, um, the Nordic country and its neighbors, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, mm -hmm. and Iceland, all score very well on the measures the mm -hmm. report uses to explain the findings. Um, it, it speaks to um, healthy life expectancy, the GDP per capita, mm -hmm. social support in times of trouble, mm -hmm. low corruption. You know, we can't run. But every time I see Denmark and and social... Norway and so on, I always see people killing each other. But they're saying right? low corruption. You ever corruption. watch the Vikings? People are always killing each other. I them. love <laughs> the Vikings. I love you Vikings. You ever see the Vikings? People are always killing each other. Hopefully, they're happy doing <laughs> <laughs> That was dead. Oh, it was dead? So, there's even no is, corruption. Is, is, and not currently. <laughs> let me get to these, uh, these, Sorry. these benchmark guys. Mm -hmm. you know, share this Low corruption, right there. Yeah. Low corruption and high social trust. Mm -hmm. well, when it talks about that, oh, we yes. don't understand oh, why yes. we Very can't understand why we don't need links now. Generosity in a community where people look after each other and oh, sure. freedom to make key life decisions. We understand our, our feelings. Yes. We accept. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have fallen short. <laughs> Short, we have fallen, we've fallen very, very short. We understand that. 
And so, I, I can imagine these people looking so at... So, I, I, I need to go visit Finland. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll come back, but... <laughs> get, get your ID card, passport. These are things that are important, but I just was telling you that. No, Finland is the happiest country on earth. And Guyana has a grant. Uh, right? too. <laughs> I want I want to go to Finland book. Put Finland on a bucket list. That's the start, you know. You don't see the money yet. You're just watching the five thousand on the bank account. So um Joan Halley is saying Guyana is not even on the um, tourism registry in the hotels in Caribbean countries. Well that that's Wow. We're that's, changing that's that. As sad as that we're changing be. that because we just we just got a brilliant deal out of Barbados. We're changing that. Yeah, I'm right? hoping. They 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 give us our television time, so we can change that. Yes. We can go to registry just now. You watch that. So as as we continue on the international front and what's trending there, we're taking um the report that um the invading Russian troops have no more than three days of food and ammunition left. That is what Ukraine they're, is claiming. They're, they're like Guyanese now. <laughs> <laughs> they're like Guyanese now. No more than three days food. That's what any average guy has got, you know, <laughs> running on about three days ration left, and we about that's a lot. That's a lot, right? That's a so lot. So them by them them guys back. That's that. Welcome to Guyana. Just put a big sign <laughs> over <laughs> Ukraine. Welcome to Guyana. Huh? Oh my god. That's your daily existence. Three days food. That's plenty, <laughs> right? <laughs> three days. Out. Some people don't even know the menu for this day. Much more. Three yeah, days the, sad, the sad reality is that um, Guyanese, um, the majority of Guyanese live day to day. Mm. And some people would say hand to mouth. Basically, mm -hmm. every bit of income that comes in just goes towards paying a bill and putting food on the table. We all got to go to Finland. Right? If it's so, sad, we all got to go to Finland. Oh, well, what we need to do is uh, look at the policy structures in those countries and adopt things that is going to be, that, that can fit into our system and tailor it a little bit into suit what is going on here, our culture, lifestyle all together. You know what we can go and adapt, we can go and see, oh, let me see how they um how they steep out oil money and so on. <laughs> That's what we but it's a let me go and see uh, uh, huh? we can go look for the little bit. <laughs> That's where you're going to oh, adopt. we're done with them, they're dropping off of the ranking. We can go look for the little bit. That's what we're going to look for. What else <laughs> happening internationally? So, actually, we want to, to move off of the international. We're coming close to home. And get local. Um, get I, local. I love this song. Like, get local. Yeah, we need to get local. Everyone mm -hmm. needs to Share. Get local. That's the step. The, the first step. Share. Share the broadcast. Smash, smash, smash the emoji button. Is that right? And as, Producer we come saying, as we get local again, I'm telling persons to be sure to share because we have a bit of footage coming up for you that you would want to see, and everyone needs to see that bit mm -hmm. as well. Is that, guys? Yeah. It's not ready yet. You guys give us a as, But as so we no, go, no. as we go into that, I see the full reopening of school set for oh, April yes. 25th. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, I understand. A lot of people want to get rid of the children. Yes. <laughs> Let me well, that's, that's one way of putting it. A lot it. of people want to get rid of the, the, the children. Right? Um, and, you know, so it's an easy way now to take care open them back. Mm. Right? But we encourage parents, you've got to be active in them children's life. Active. Mm -mm. Active. And this does, doesn't lend to it, you know. Good thing with technology, I always say this. Uh, my big son lives overseas now. Um, he's gone off on his own. He's in those years. Mm -hmm. Um, he's about to get married, just turned 13. <laughs> mm. He's about to, you know, blossom with his own person. But we get a chance to catch him in a movie every, every now and again on Disney Plus. Mm. Because Disney Plus allows you to sing the same movie, different time zones, and you can watch a movie together. So I have the WhatsApp open in one hand with video. Yep. And we're watching television and we're talking back and forth. And he is narrating, walking yeah. me through Marvel Universe and... DC comic universe and all the universe. And I feel like I'm 70 right now because half of this stuff is new to me. But he's 13 and he knows the whole universe, knows how they connect each other and everything. Marvel and DC well, and every, most of everything. <laughs> the beauty of technology. Technology is playing a vital role, especially when it comes to education and the way in which children learn. Because That's children, where I was coming children, back children to. Learn, children learn more so. A lot of children learn to vi visual. And because of that, the whole technological aspect tied yeah, into the learning, yeah. exactly, it boosts their interest, their, their children are not always curious, so their curiosity altogether has been satisfied when they're seeing all of these things. So, yeah. and you know, this Minecraft and all of these things that you see, their creativity is played out into those, um, those apps and so forth. So, most definitely. Yeah. And you know what? I think that COVID had presented us, and it was a wasted opportunity. 
for us to really get connected at school, yeah. um, get connected as classrooms, uh, just get connected, as you said, you know, local. And we kind of miss that opportunity. I would love to see more interconnectivity. Um, you, you know, at the start of the school term, we got the money, but what are we spending mm -hmm. it on? Friends and family. That's what we spending it on. Why aren't we using our oil and gas, our mineral wealth? I mean, we got so much. We're so blessed yep. as a country. We got so much. Every school term, you know, I hear they're talking about, oh, um, you're getting your results from some school until you carry back textbook. No! Right? <laughs> One little tablet can hold how many textbooks on it that you don't need to carry back. Right? Every school term, when you go and you register, especially the new school term for those persons who are now coming in, you should be given a tablet. Yeah. And that's for the next two, three years of your school life with all of the books preloaded on it, right? We talking fiber optic cable for the last 10 years, but like these fiber optic cables never land. Yeah. They never connect to anything, right? When we can get past that, right? Well, when it comes to the technology in the school system, I know Smart Classroom Initiative was something that was, um, Cathy Hughes was working mm -hmm. um, a lot with when it, um, through the Ministry of, of Public Telecommunications. That is something that they were working with. So I would have loved to see that project being continued and especially with the, the connection was geared at um, connecting persons in the hinterland, students in the hinterland, because a lot of times they don't have access to the teachers and so that, that are in that are on the coastline so what they're going to do is have those monitors and so set up so a child could be in the hinterland while um, sitting there and yet through technology accessing the education of a classroom experience the same thing on the happens in healthcare yes in any decent part of the world you don't need to have a specialist you yeah. know you might have a specialist in a particular area but every mm -hmm. hospital has mm -hmm. access to that specialist and you know uh, uh, my aunt and i were talking about it just yesterday because you have you know, mm. smart hospital rooms, yeah. you know, and we connect like that, you know. Uh, when are we going to start planning for the, for instance, the next pandemic, mm. right? If it were to happen next month, we'd still be caught off guard. My goodness. Right? Because we had a huge flood, a national flood, mm. you know, last year. And a flood happened quite recently, and we still seem to be caught off guard. We have a photograph we're going to show later on in the day. In the Pomeroon, yeah. water waist high, and it's for two weeks. My and God. it seems as though we still get caught off guard. Like, we are not developing any expertise in flood management, even though mm. we've, we, we've had floods for the last 20 years, major floods. But every the one experts, of them. The climate change experts haven't developed no, yes. any. The climate yeah. change experts haven't developed any. The gurus and the czars, it is what it is. But, you know, I, I'm happy in a sense that the kids are going back to school. But whether or not we're out of the woods yeah. where COVID 19 is concerned is another issue because we were sharing on. Uh, last evening's program in the ring mm -hmm. how you know paho is saying one thing keep the COVID measures up strengthen enhance and so yeah. on we seem to have you know open the deluge and say we just come in actually we have we are yet to 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 take a position on it the government is yet to take a position a concrete position on COVID. And i disagree the method going forward the they position has been taken is money government <laughs> Money government, COVID. Sherrod uh, Sherrod is, um, is onto something there because what they're doing seems to be haphazard. But I yep. often say that there's there's methods of their madness, in, so to speak. So they do something and they come back and say something else, and then but there's a method to all of it because when they when they present that level of confusion, then anyone can go and do whatever. Especially in the private sector, stands to benefit altogether. Method to their madness, but put we put we be giving them a lot of credit. It's just madness. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no method. You know what they need? Stelazine. Do your homework. Yeah, That's what they need. You need, to, you need to understand the level of... Well, that amount of madness. No, you need to understand the level of intent that is put into these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, if we do it like this, and then we go and say this, then we're going to have them halfway. So, you know, then we're going to benefit and we're going to be able to creep in here and benefit and get something under the table. And some people going to... That's how they operate. I'm Every, having a two moment. Everything it's with a deal. Everything comes with a deal. Everything comes with a benefit somewhere. Somehow someone benefits from each of those policies. That's how it happens. They they all they always go out there. I never believe that they're going out there just out of ignorance. A lot is out of ignorance, but it's never just out of ignorance. It's strategic players that they're making to make sure that that they punish people, put their lives at risk, so that a few people could benefit. I'm having an Osu moment. Osu? <laughs> Osu? 
Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. Mm. But that's what we're dealing yep, with. Yep, yep, yep. What else we have on the So on the we have story? the fishermen. Um, the search for the missing fishermen has been suspended. Suspended, called off, yes. postponed. So because um after after conversations were brought about and there were so many persons uh, that took interest into the story, I know that after you would have spoken with the persons there, the search um the the minister of public works came out and he said that the search was still ongoing. So right now what we're seeing is that another report is saying today that it has been officially suspended. Mm -hmm. And I think so, we have some I think we have some comments from the good bishop. Mm. on the issue mm. from the good bishop at this point i don't know what else i can do in terms of search it's a tough decision but we will have to perhaps to be suspend the search and go into a new phase of being on the alert while we continue to traverse the areas, pray, praying that we find something. You know what struck me there? Um, you know, I, 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 I hope for closure mm. for this family or these families involved with the tree fishermen. Right? We spoke to a couple of members of the family in our podcast, and I hope for closure. But the minister has like 10 words there, and there's like five minutes in spending just to say, you know, we're suspending this search uh, now, and we're very sorry. It's like half an hour later. Yeah, basically. But again, when it comes to technology, I'm yet to hear the, 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 the technology that was actually used. No, we went, through, we went through one of the reports, um, on, again, on our podcast below the belt. Every midday we run with our podcast. And they were saying um, the sonar wasn't working one day because it was wet, and then was something else. Yep. But I wanted to know Tree. what was working because to Biggest say, to say that you have suspended the search, a portion should be the question should be answered: is, uh, What methodology did you use to actually conduct the search for it to for it to have been an effect, efficient mm -hmm. search altogether? So mm -hmm. that's a different story there right now. But. Um, very sad, very sad because yeah. um, basically that's closure says, um, we need for the family. Yes, closure. that says that there will be no clo closure for the family. Oh, yep. my gosh. What else on the trend, Rita? But as we continue on the morning trend, what is going on? We see that um, convicted sex offender um, is to be sentenced today for um, teen girls' rape. Good, good. Can't do the time, don't do the crime. Moving on. Well, it's so crazy. It says that um, a previously convicted sex offender, Isan um, Jermain, who is currently serving three concurrent prison sentences expected to know his fate today on three counts of child rape so this 45 year old uh, mr jermain a 45 year old researcher will be sentenced by to, uh, by justice um priya bihari at the demerara sexual offense court today so you know um these these cases all together you know these persons need to be lost yeah. lost yeah. in jail yeah, they, yeah. I, I don't make them an example make yeah. them an example moving on Yes, guys. Um, and as we move on this morning, you know, we always do the person of interest and our person of interest today. You know, we have been looking, um, we scroll across to make sure that we cover all the people that are receiving so much public love. And one of the persons that, are, that is receiving a lot of love today is none other than um, the GDF um, captain, um, Kaya Dover. Kaya yeah, Dover yeah. actually swam across yeah. the Essequibo River. Good endurance, I like that. That's <laughs> so, good endurance. Well, most definitely a lot of endurance. There and I could, I could hear some people saying, I can do that. Ah, yeah, where? Where? It's about, I think they said it's about 5,000 5, 5, kilometers. No, yes. 5,000 km? No, not km. Um, just, meters. Think, I think um, it's just um, over two miles, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken i'm not sure of distance like i can pull mm. it's it about up. five thousand meters i think mm. um I, I i i if i know this is i don't i don't think you might need two hours to cover two miles but no, no, that, you, that, but that, you're, not, but you're feet, not you're not a swimmer no, i'm just i'm just looking at <laughs> running two miles and again swimming it and two miles you can do two miles in a little less time than that 
Um, but I'm, it took two hours. We can agree with that. You talk about two hours to swim across. There's a cable. No, I, I'm, all, I'm all about details, yeah. guys. So most definitely, right ahead. I'm going to be bringing up the yeah. details. So FYI. So it is um, he, it FYI. Is 5,205 yards. That's how we did it. Yards. And, yes. And yeah. we did it in um, two hours and uh, two minutes. And, yeah. and it was not just him. It was not just Naomi him. Naomi Drucker has it there. 5,205 5, a yard. Is it two hours? Naomi. Five, it's 5,205. Naomi, uh, uh, <laughs> convert yards to, what's the nearest thing? Convert yards to um, meters or miles or what have you. And see what you come up with. People have a better sense of it. Say it was a half a mile or, you know, one mile or so. Do the conversion for us. Uh, so, um, I guess it is a yard a clot. One yard, <laughs> two, three. Kind but that's of, a feat. The, the, the Escrima River is a wide river. Well, most right? definitely. It's a wide river. It's a deep river. And it's rough. It, it, is, it is very, very rough. Right? And I think one of the things that, Two hours. That, that they were saying, and it's just not um him, but it was him and his a lieutenant rank with him, Lieutenant um, yeah. Jubal God West. Good endurance. That's so good endurance. That I, rem him. I remember the time I ran from George to Lynn. I think we have a bit of footage on this. Thing. I think we have a... Shirt, yeah. on this Here it thing, is. Guys. Here it is. History being made. Anytime now. <laughs> and as you await the footage. Is that? Wow! Fantastic endurance. Wow! Fantastic. <laughs> you know, the uh, one of my role models is the long distance runner Eliud Kipchoge. He's Kenyan, and one of the things uh, Mr. Kipchoge says is that no human is limited. Basically, whatever you put your mind to, if you work mm. very hard, you find a way, mm. you can get it done. No human is limited. And Eliud Kipchoge is the is the long distance runner of of the, of the world. Uh, for a reason, he has just broken the the two the two hour barrier. Uh, it was felt that no human being could run um, a marathon, right, in under two hours. That your body would break down. And Elliot Kipchoge has been the first man to run that. To, to, they call it breaking breaking two or something like that, breaking yeah. that two hour barrier. And a marathon in distance is twenty six miles. To run twenty six miles under. Two hours mean you are clocking a mile in yep. under about seven minutes. Correct, correct. Right? So here is Kipchoge doing this great feat. And mind you, uh, to just to give you a sense of distance, it's like running from Georgetown just past Splash Mills, because from Georgetown to Splash Mills is 25 miles in under two hours, just to tell you of distance. And again, to see these guys do this on water, swim that SQ River. Look at the currents there. That is strong currents. And to hold yourself afloat. Right to and have the to, to, to have the muscle strength, right? And I tell anybody this: it first starts in your head, right? You first got to you first got to conquer that river in your head. So persons and that, then you move forward. Persons I don't know, Sharon actually um ran from um, George down to Linden, and so so he knows what he's talking about because you know, <laughs> the mental yeah. drive is the hardest thing yeah. to push. It's not even pushing your body, yeah. but it's pushing yourself mentally. But um, just to give a person's um, uh, it in terms of miles that the distance that they cover was two point nine miles, two point nine. Got a miles good sense now. Two hours. Got so a good sense. That is right? what that was, and I can say that someone that actually travels here to River River every week, mm -hmm. I I would know because yeah. um, the water there is extremely rough. It's it's, it's very yeah. strong currents being pulled again, so yeah. they. They, they had to endure a whole lot yeah. to get across that. And, you know, you give persons who are looking to, because, you know, strangely enough, when you're into sporting, these distances yeah. mean a lot to you. Every step means, yeah. means yes. you know, means a lot to you. So around the National Park, it laps, it overlaps in just over a mile. Yes. If you go around the National Park once. Yes. So it's like twice mm -hmm. swimming around the National Park. 
But it's not just swimming. The currents good is the depth. When you swim in a when you swim in a pool, it is nothing compared yeah. to actually going and swimming in yeah. open water and actually crossing the Yesiku River. Yeah. Because the 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 strength of that tide and, and the currents all together when the water is rough because they said the swim was in rough water. And I just want to say that um here um Kyle Kaya Dover, he is the OC um, of the Guyana Defense um, Force, um, the Jungle and the Amphibious Training School. I see why. I see right? why. Right? <laughs> yes, Jungle and Amphibious in Training School. I see why. So, um, quite quite an amazing um, young man, and what he did there, commended by everyone. We are super proud of you. Continue yeah, to set yeah, the bar. Yeah. And, Respect and, manners. Yeah. This is part of the program I on, on, on um, in the ring where we say respect and manners and you understand why right congratulations this is a huge suite it yes. is a huge suite yep right because you know why everybody's from across this river it's two men we know so far two but right. well we have um living in barca would know a lot of a lot of these swims but congratulations congratulations congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. Oh do you know she stopped too regatta is coming up guys let me right? just let me just put you know she there. stopped you know. <laughs> Yes. Uh, you're, you're, you're taking us? I know that's a thing. I'm taking the FYL family to the regatta. We're going regatta, people. We're going I'm regatta. Not even joking. I'm Look, not we even do joking. it. I'm not going, I'm not going to train you now. Get out of my beach, buddy. <laughs> regatta, here we comes. Here oh we comes, regatters. You see the open air and all of that. Don't worry. No open air. Mm -hmm. But as we move on, guys, mm -hmm. I, moving I, on. I, I told you earlier that I have a bit of footage and I want persons to see. We got footage, baby. So and I want you to share the live stream because um That's very, some footage. very interestingly, we see mm -hmm. um the story that is coming out is um cops allegedly threatened to kill the indiscourse Demra man in front of his family. Police again. Cops alleged allegedly threatened mm -hmm. to kill East Coast Demara man. This is man. the guy they transferred from Bartica Station. Did in front of his family. No, well, I didn't send him there. This is another one. It's another one. Wow. Yes, I think he was. Tell us more about that. Tell us more about that. Well, based on the information that is circulating on social media, um, the police went into this guy's um, home with his family in, in the dead of night and actually ordered him out of the house. Yeah, that, that they, well, uh, what is that? You know, they don't know what, what is, is that. Warrant? Exactly. So put him to the news. I'm on the ground. I just, <laughs> To make sure that you are prepared for the footage to have some bit of um in decent language yeah, but yeah. he is reporting exactly what was said to him so he is saying directly how that transpires to so take a listen <laughs> Last night, I class don't need to do it's a little house, it's five children they get inside this house. I try to explain to them, their master raised up his punch and roll me baby straight to the wall. And all them take me big that to start here, the bramming pony do and she crawl out in the bed and I because she start panic. When their man starts up me house and I find nothing on them thing, their man came me outside from the heap of sand down there. When the man came me from the heap of sand down there, the man put me from the room and tell me, they told them get the message from fucking, from somebody of the road. Tell him I can get a message for me that I selling drugs. The man he had me walking court class, brace up in there. The man shows me walking court class. He said the man bring me brace up and stand up. The man start tell me about the drugs and then go kill me and then kill but me. But them boots print everything there. Then. Me wife, me wife there watch watch them through the door down there. Let me wife for watch and then say tell your mistress she shall lock up the door and go inside before me shoot up every fucking body here, so. When I start all up for me wife, they come in and want me wife for me pick me get out. Then I want me wife for me pick me get out. And when me wife lock in the door, ask me wife lock in the door, so the man tell me me long, the man got TV, pull out the gun and put him in me head. He crank him and he put him in me head car now. But the man them boots facing me here, so the man put me for me long like here. And the man put them gun to me for a pain here, and the man said I kill me body. After then, when them people start come out, when people start come out and then start see, then walk and go along their way, and then the police ask if they can get the evidence. You tell the police, them, I know this man, I know this man. 
me know he, the man me can kill me last night, like, buddy. The man tell me you kill me in front of me wife and children. And when you put me for me long, the man start attack easy. When he tell me, tell me wife lock in the door, the man start attack easy. And when my wife now just pull in the bottom door and I want to lock the top one, the man tell me talk before he shoot up every fucking body and kill you in front of your family. The man has to all up my girl for lock in the top door. Praise God, my neighbor them come out same time when the man put me for me long, the man crank them gonna put them on my head. My neighbor them come out and them thing and then see them walk and go away. Me old lady and them thing walk and come because people call me old lady and them thing. You say, you don't sell drugs. The man who sell the drugs send them here, so by me body. Me and the man again, no, no problem. Me go and part because the man chopping up a next man and them talk. The same day the youth man attack that he old man and the biggest drugs deal he get. America, the old man named Soul and the old lady spend money behind him. Me not going to fight. Me go for save me neighbor because me neighbor get serious chop up. You can ask anybody around this area. Me not no bad man. Me don't pick fight on them things. Just because me see a man get chop up. Me run go and party man. And that way me involve myself. Police will come and knock down me door. Me not get money to give them like them people. And the man is always talking. The old man the biggest drugs deal he got. The old man named Soul up to the same day before he not fight them and them. You attack, it can be what problem you do. You thief and whole people. You chop them, and the old man and old lady you always take them out. And them are the drugs deal, and the police now got them. The police take money from them for coming me. And me now sell nothing. Me can sell drugs and live with five feet in this little house. I tell me, buddy, me can sell drugs for a material, whatever my claims, and live in this little house. The man me can kill me last night, and tell me, neighbor, me old lady, and I me tape and time because them are done crank them gum. I put them meat for the top and put me for knee long them and start attack easy them and I'm gonna kill you in front of your family them. Thank God for me neighbor me old lady for me to in time. Because them man take me cut last me walking cut last this cut last here. Right here so them man pull out this cut last pan. Right here so them pull out right inside there and then throw them down in. And they tell me stop it and then they put me for knee long and put me gun for me head. So I know them try to set me up and all be told me draw a court last for them and then I'm going to kill four me and my wife will pick me and I'm going to lose body. This Babylon thing too cruel body and the drug dealers send them by innocent, innocent people. The drug dealers them themselves because me, me this goes to here. The man is always stuck because he used to live in here. You know, you, the, the, the banner will create a scene for make all this thing for happen. He used to live right in here, too far from here. Me never fight the man and them thing, buddy. The man chop on me neighbor and I run me run. Go me get five children in this house. The man, what's it? What's my baby daughter? My baby daughter lay down for the bed and it's a happy son. What's my baby daughter? Then the man snatch this fucking match. I raise him up and paste my baby daughter into the wall, buddy. I'm going to hide and eat that. My big daughter, after the, the, the door start knock, bam, 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 I go shoot her, you scunt to open this door. My big daughter get freaking, she, she get panicked and she crawl on in the bed and hide. This thing overbearing, buddy. And the seven and come back, then and come back. And the seven and come back, then I'll come back more serious and I'll come for me life. That one and tell me before they left and walk out, they say, I did. They tell me they never come back to me like Yeah, they say they never come back more serious for me. I said, I'm going to go for them. I'm going to go for them. I'm going to go for them. And the same, the same Coven, John Police, will handle them people, will handle the chopping up story. What can we ask with this? Because what's here, you're going to go for them and get chopped up. And the same exact set of police, they will lose them and everything. And the same exact police come back. And the same exact police come back. So the man is not doing them work, the man is not take pay. The man is take pay for the drugs, deal them for come and harass poor people, the man is not an unfair. The unfair body. The unfair. Me can't sell drugs and get five feet. Three, four girls, pick him with one by son in this house. Me sell drugs for so much here, me supposed to live wealthy, man. Me pick them, me supposed to live punish and anything, buddy. Tell them you like the public, the Minister of Public Security for looking into this matter. I mean, like the Minister, human rights, and everybody, buddy, can come in and help me out in this situation because I'm not going to victimize me all the time, buddy. We need the Commissioner of Police for looking into this matter. We need the Commissioner of Police for looking into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. We need the President that can come into this matter. This is my husband wearing chap up, look. We settle a story for nothing, for no medicine, 
Not even a 20 dollar, nothing at all. And they still keep harassing our neighbors. All of them keep harassing. Why they got to do this? We need the commissioner police to please look into this matter. Because they could murder my husband. We need justice. In this country, we need justice. Because we the people who put y'all in here to the president. We need the president to look into our problem. When, when I hear them a rape people get a picnic and them thing and people are deny a truth body because how them man come and kill me down there, them man tell me, tell me where from me lock in the door because they're gonna kill everybody. Them man crank them gonna yeah, put them in my head. Me not had no, me not no future to me not thief, me not, me not no bad man. All me work hard and make me pick me body and a truth body man is to do body. Them man, them man is a government me work with body. Me chop trench. And clean drain and chop bush, a government may work for. MC. You understand me? I may do little farm, I work with garden and plant little tomato and them kind of thing and them, them things that may do body. We don't teach, we don't sell drugs. The man they say cruel, the man can kill me last night, body. The man can kill me, body. In my whole life, nobody never put a gun for me because I never went in the position because I'm not no bad, man. I don't do the wrong thing. I just because I see my neighbor get chopped, make me involved and make them victimize. They say, God come to me, body. And that unfair, body. That unfair. That unfair. You can't walk around and ask the neighborhood about me, body. Ask the whole who about me, and then can tell you, I don't have them kind of man, the, the police, them, they take pay for the drugs, deal with them himself, hmm. for come and harass people. That's that unfair, man. They can't get the money, them son can chop and more than everything can go on nice, and, and the poor people got to feel them. Poor people got to feel them, and, and we need the president and everybody who can look in, who see this thing, can look into this matter, body. I just see and come and give me a little satisfaction because them seven and come back, they come back more serious. And then come one o'clock last night and how them come and come real serious last night. I mean I wanna see them come more serious and what them come. Are you gonna they can't know where they're supposed to put me for knee long and tell me yeah, tell me for tell me why for lag the door with my children, them or they're gonna kill me, them and crank them gonna put them in me air up. It's a cold, cold, cold thing jam me temple can body. Cool. As I panic, I don't give up my life because I don't say because they're going to kill me, man. They get paid for kill me and they're going to kill me. How they're going to walk me? That's why I believe me, they're dead, buddy. They have to tell me why they don't stay inside with them children because I want nothing to tell me, yeah, children. I work hard for my name. I work very hard. And please, somebody come and, and come into the situation, man. The police buy them, they need to do their work properly, man. They need to do their work properly. They can't come and harass the innocent people like this. That, that unfair body, that unfair, man a chop man, a man a walk free, a man a send police to you out, you know that unfair. Man a sell drugs and cooking and plan the and say everything, that would be ill for them and son and them still bring police here, so. They still bring police here, so me not them kind of man, da. Be glad for the president, human rights and everybody who concerns this thing can come and help me out, buddy. Five children, me got four girls, children, a man running me out, start tumble up, I can watch in this house here, what? All my children there. All my children lie down for the bed, they're crying. Crying and I beg them, my baby daughter, my next daughter, lie down for the bed, you so. And them raise this mattress, so I say, I'll be so much bigger, my baby daughter. Them all raise this mattress and roll my baby daughter straight into the wall along there. When I ask them, they're going to get them all, say, you behave yourself, you don't play bad, man. You get to your one, Miss Alpha, say, I'm not play bad, man. The man tell me put on the light and I put on the light by the time I move for come back here. So the man don't crank on to shoot me. The man say, you want to run, you want to run. But I don't want to run, I get nothing in me. How so run me and left? Me can't run, me left me wife and me four children. Me five children that ran. Yep. There you had it. Um, Very, very disturbing footage altogether being brought out there um and the allegation is that the police went into his home at 1 a.m and threatened to kill him taking him, taking him putting him to kneel down outside putting a cot last next to him and telling him to let his wife and children go inside and lock the door and it was only because the, he's saying it's only because his mother ran over because of the commotion and persons are here his mother's not too far off from where he is there ran over that is when they left and they said that they're going to be coming back interesting very very interesting, interesting. but you know as i look at the video all by it said he is um he's making reference to the fact that the persons on human services and all of those things um 
should come in and, and should, render assistance. And most definitely, be. because um, there you have um, a young man with his family out there um, and living in, uh, in, in poverty, all, albeit, and he is trying to say that he does anything for work to make sure that he takes care of, of his children through legal means and not involving himself in anything that is illegal. And I, I look at the video and I saw that um, even outside of the house, the, 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 there is a, a, a chalkboard there what with, with tells a lot to, to the work that they're putting in, even with their children, even with living in poverty, they're still trying to make ends meet and know that they have to, to teach their children so that they will be educated to come out of that situation altogether. But very, very, very disturbing yeah. um, image and very disturbing story altogether there that is yeah. coming out. Um, and, we and those are the like biggest issues we got to grapple with in this country. Though. Yeah. How do we move people out of, the, out of poverty Mm -hmm. right into the lower class middle class and higher if that's how people want to go how do we do that as a country yes and you know i'm looking at i'm looking at that all together there and I'm, i am i am i am just thinking that you know a lot of times you see government officials going out and they speak towards these projects like the turnkey homes and so there is a family that is in need of of of, of so much assistance yeah. you know so not only a handful not just a handful exactly and so more exactly. than that Right, deep and lasting change, and that only comes through, you know, comprehensive policy action. Yeah. Right, and we gotta make some tough decisions in this country because it seems like we go in no place. You know, you hear biggest budget, but what does mm. it mean to the man on the ground? What does that mean to him? Right? What does that mean to that young yeah. man that you just look at there? Five hundred and fifty-two point nine billion dollars. Yeah. Oh, good life that they're going to be preparing. They yeah. said they're going to be delivering this, this, this life. And yeah. and look at the persons there. And the man said he he he's working. He, he is clearing drains. He's, he's going into the bush. He's farming something. He's cutting cane. So all of those things he's doing to provide for his family. How does that translate to him when you're seeing the GDP growth being so good? And we often say yeah. that the people are not feeling it. On the ground. Look the at ground. that man. And then when you, show, when, you, when you couple that with a high cost of living. Exactly. Right? How does how, he survive? How are people surviving in this country? How, how is he surviving? He has five children. He's trying to take care of. He's doing his yeah. best. He's going out there and he's working. How does he survive on a right. daily basis? And, you know, just, just think about it. When you say that you're helping because, oh, you've, you've taken a little tax off of, um, of gas. Well, I don't drive. Yeah. Right? I, I can't afford her. Yeah. Right? Oh, I take a little tax off of water. We can't afford her. We yeah. ain't got meter. A lot of people fetching the water. Right? We fetch me with water. Then I got some other needs, and how are you helping where that's concerned? Yeah. Right. When you bring a little bag of chung min and a little um little split peas, that's a two day. But the, you know, the, it's the, so much. He's not asking, and he's not, and he, that family they're not asking for any of help, those help either. They're there, they're working there, and the basic necessity, the basic expectation is for them to be protected by the state. The basic expectation yeah. is to be protected by the state. And that video is saying that, that even that, the sanctity of their little home that they have, what, what persons were breaking into that to, at 1 a.m. in the night, coming in when the children are supposed to feel a little bit of peace traumatizing in that Traumatizing your kids, you know, traumatizing your kids and harassing you, traumatizing the whole family, your wife, everybody. That's something else there. Persons you know. need to be held accountable. I think a thorough investigation needs to be done yeah. into that in, into that matter altogether. And for, for persons have to, if there is no accountability, these things will continue. Yeah. The public needs yeah. to speak out. And like I said, even it gives me the memory of the case in Bartica in which the police threatened to kill um, young Chris, uh, um, Chris Crichton. And then the solution to that was to move him from there and send him somewhere else. Move the policeman, that is. Yep, move the policeman yep. and send him somewhere else. And these are the situations that persons are dealing with in the country. This is the level of poverty people are facing in Guyana. And in Guyana, the situation is as it is right now. The more you, the more corrupt a country is. And that's why we keep speaking about the corruption index and the fact that the since the people came back into office, we have we have gone worse on that index instead of the betterment yeah. that it was getting under the five years of the coalition. And so when we see that situation and, and, and it has been translated, these poor people suffer the most in this country. They suffer at the hands of everyone because they don't have the money to pay a bribe here, there, and everywhere to get their way through the system. And that's what you're seeing going on there right now. 
he's going to go out there and he's going to struggle to make sure that he he deals with his higher cost of living. He said he's he, he farms and all of that to see how he can deal with it on his own without trying to beg for handouts. And the least he expects is that when he goes to bed with his children at night, that he's protected yeah. and he doesn't have to fear yeah. that state mechanism is coming in to, to threaten and harm him, him and him, as fa against his family. Him. As, as against help. helping. Yeah, yeah. And the authorities are yeah. looking at that. The authorities are looking at that. Folks, it's a good point for us to ask you to share the live stream. So other folks get this kind of credible information and see where the gaps are in our society and, you know, the disparity. And to reach us, the resident economists can talk uh, more about this than I can. The disparity between rich and poor in this country yeah. is only going to get wider. Only going to get wider. You can have a cost of living crisis the way we have uh, currently. It's only getting worse. It's only getting worse. Yep. And as one of the comments um, that I'm seeing is, uh, is like, it's, it's a crime to be poor. Yeah, you know, it would seem that way. It yeah, would seem that, that way. I'm telling you, I'm telling you how you comport yourself. Your treatment is different, you know. Your treatment is different. Yep, quite different. Uh, and that's sad because we're all supposed to be equal before the law and afforded the same opportunities, privilege, and protection before the law, right? But, but I want, I want to say at this point in time that uh, a lot of things, a lot of uh, what I would consider frivolous matters, you see immediate police statement being issued for those things, you know. Oh, Sheriff Duncan was, um, was pulled in for calling someone a jagabat and a transcrap or police statement, you know. Where is the police statement to these matters? Where is, where is the statement? Yeah, concerning this man's rights, you know. I was going into the Not police station. Say. I was going into CID. That, that day in uh, February 13th, I think it was, when I was arrested. And as I was going in, my attorneys were telling me a statement is being issued wow. simultaneously. Wow. I haven't been questioned. I haven't wow. been anything yet. But a statement is so, already and where is the, prepared. Where is the statement for, for, for that young man? Where is his statement? Even if you are to say that we have received this bit of information, we have noted this being circulated, and an investigation will be conducted. Yeah. Even to say that, you know, where is that that's statement? That's a sad thing because I can remember. I'm happy you mentioned that. I give you the comparison. I remember being asked at CID, mm -hmm. um, were you treated well? Yeah. Um, you know, did, yes. did, did, did you feel harassed yeah. in any way, your rights violated? Yeah. You, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. No, because it's Sheryl Duncan and they don't want to, um, and they know that you have a voice and you and when you come out, you speak to people, but they believe, that's why I said poverty in this the poorer you are in this country, the worse you're treated. And instead of giving, if giving more support, you are beat down further into and the Jerita, system. that is why we will use these forums that yeah. we have, the voice that we have to continue to highlight issues like this mm -hmm. and all the other issues that we highlight on our program. Some of the things we share here aren't carried by any other media houses. Yeah. People write us and send us information on a whole host of issues because they know we will continue to speak out yeah. for the persons who don't have a voice in this country or perceive mm -hmm. not to have a voice. Listen to, listen to the woman said, we put you all there. Yep. That is their voice. Yep. And people got to learn to use that voice wisely, irrespective. You see, uh, one, one segment of the political um, uh, 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 you know, scope in this country not doing well, right? Use your voice. Yep. Right? Y she doesn't even know she has such a powerful voice. Correct. Right, that voice there you got is so powerful. Use that voice when you're going, uh, you know, to that voting booth, right? And if you got to change government ten times in ten years, so let it be. All goes well for our democracy. People doing nonsense, they're out. Bring in another set of people who can move things forward, and they do nonsense, they're out. Bring in another set of people, and let's move things forward. Right? You think the word in Trinidad about changing government? You think Mia Martley and wholeness in Jamaica word about mm. changing? Governments? No, 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 no. That's part of democratic systems. Right? You do nonsense, you're out. Next. But we will continue to do what we're doing on this front. And folks, you know, you might take it lightly, but to do this, I'm telling you, it costs us a tidy penny to continue to be out here, to do this, to bring information to you guys, to bring these stories, to bring these narratives, to lift these I'm voices. Thinking so many our our right now. primary focus here, at least that's how I see it is to amplify voices that won't get heard ordinarily, to amplify voices. That's what we do here, basically. In all these stories, we come to amplify the voices of the people. And I'm so happy for those of you who partner with, with us. And we're encouraging uh, a, a whole lot of you who can partner with us to do so. This is what you help us to do. 
This is what you help us to do on a daily basis to keep these programs out there. And also, we, we, we do other things as well, helping these people uh, in some tangible ways too, in some tangible ways. So come on board, partner with us. We've got lots of platforms available for you to do so. You know, we got a Zelle and Cash App. We got uh, PayPal. We got MoneyGram, MMG, Western Union. Guys, if you want to know any more, you need more guidance, the number you want to WhatsApp is 627-6963. By now, you got a good sense that your dollars are, 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 are prudently spent by us into expanding what we're doing here, right. right? And moving things forward. Yes, you know. I'm, not, I'm looking at, I, I, as I look to the video, so many things are going through my head in terms of um, policies. And we often speak about the fact that a lot of things have been said uh, about initiatives that the government is undertaking. And we often come and say that, that there is no clear pathway for the ordinary citizens of this country to benefit from it. And I'm looking at, at that video. I'm seeing the mother have a little blackboard right there that she will obviously teaches her children on. And, and I'm thinking that all of the talk about all this 20,000 online scholarships and all of these things, how does it benefit these people that don't have internet connection? Yeah, exactly. It, that, that doesn't have internet um, connectivity, that doesn't have a computer yeah. and all of those. How do they benefit from it? How do they benefit from, from, from a, a little grant to actually um, through, through, the, through the business community altogether yeah. when there's so many requirements is for them to have so many um things in the bank of bank account here how do they benefit what is the system being put in place that poor people in this country can actually see a rising standard of living altogether and i keep saying that this is the biggest budget ever that we that yeah. we are looking into Always right the about biggest now. Budget ever. we're ending march in the year the biggest budget ever and this is what is going on Families are yet to feel the benefit of, of that altogether. And this is the very, very first budget ever. None other than Air Finale said that this is the first time we have the resources to do things. He said it himself. And what are you doing with this research? First budget to utilize the oil resources. How are the ordinary, how is that family benefiting from it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to be coming back in a couple of days for a supplemental. Yep. God willing, you're going to see them back for a supplemental. But I think, I, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm preempting, but I think uh, that's our program. But, but, yes, me? most definitely that that's is our, our program. program. That's our program. Maureen Chichester, Tommy Gibbs, that's our program. Susan Kansias and Glensis Mingo Burr, that's our time. Guys, we cannot implore and encourage you enough to come and partner with us so we can do more of these programs to keep you guys informed ensure the hundreds of you still watching you give us a share before you go some of y'all peeping so y'all won't want to share some of y'all in government time people are listening so you won't want to share we understand that for those of you who can share 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 the live stream guys and other folks can benefit from credible valid information and we want to say respect and manners to all the valid viewers and incredible comments <laughs> Well, of yours, incredible comments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a have a blessed day, guys. Be sure to join back at twelve um, for below the belt, and also at eight pm for in the ring. Make sure that you do it exactly what Sherry said. Share the live stream so that persons will be able to come back and view this this program after we come off here. So make sure you do your part and continue to be safe and healthy as we go along the day. See you guys tomorrow.